Hello there everyone and welcome back. So, we're here for the next episode of Le Agile and I was, uh, as, as for last episode, uh, I managed to get a hold of Frankfurt and so I went around trying to recruit sort of in between the episodes and I come to here and the um, Dutch have declared war on France and so we can see two fights there on the bridge with the Dutch king fighting here with his troop of 387 men and Napoleon's got uh, no chance on that with his only a mere hundred uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join Ney first and I'm gonna destroy uh, the enemy force here and hopefully I can get Ney's force to be turned around and we can help Napoleon out it's gonna be a really hard battle um, for Napoleon since there's simply so many troops faced with luckily for us though most of them are not cavalry and so the superior French cavalry should be able to I say should be able to equal it out hopefully and some very tactical maneuvering is gonna be needed Charge! But it's going to be one of the largest battles I've ever taken part in. But we just destroyed this force here and hopefully Ney will join us to help out Napoleon. So Ney, I hope I can put my trust in you that you're gonna follow me into battle and help out Napoleon otherwise you're a bit of a shit I must say think there was everyone yes cavalry up to the front and let's take on the Dutch Wait, Napoleon moved away, although Napoleon actually joined my side on this battle. I'm gonna... Oh, this audience is over. I leave now. Um... No. Uh... I can leave, I guess, but I think the fight will still go on anyway, so yeah. There's no more for it. If we can kill off the Dutch king and his big army in the start of this war, this will p go a long way towards us winning. We got 309 troops versus their um, something something. Let's see about organize my troops. Most of uh, uh, most of the troops are not even my men. Well, that gives me time to organize them. The light infantry will form single rank formation and they will hold right here. Also, um, make ready present. The grenadiers will form in the center. And they will also hold fire. The Irish rifles will hold on the right. And they will also hold fire. M 
most of the troops fighting right now is allied troops. Actually, maybe I should move the cavalry. I can move the grenadiers a bit over there. Maybe we can move the light infantry. Ooh, that was a nice hit. The light infantry even a bit closer over there. Let's make sure, I'm gonna ride through and make sure that we take out the enemy cannons. So we got that clear advantage over the Dutch. Because as you know, the Dutch... I... I couldn't know. Them. The Dutch ain't much, that was what I was gonna say. But didn't really work. Oh crap. I didn't realize there were that many of them up there. Well, um, I'm gonna have to send in my cavalry then, as a shield for me. Let's see if I can make it through. Oh my horsey! Damn duchies! I need a horse, a kingdom! For my horse, for a horse. Damn it! No matter though, we still have lots of forces. We can strike again. It's going well now. Might let them go a bit longer. Before I call the troops back. That would be fine. All in all, eight men killed. Uh, in a total on our side, what is that, 70, 79, and enemies, 97. Um, they're still in a lead of 50 men. Check the field. Gonna have to be more careful this time around. Looks as though there's a lot more of my troops this time around. Maybe. Uh, no, there were <laughs> there weren't a lot more of my troops this time around. Everyone, fire on my order except cannons. You can fire one. Light infantry up front. Grenadiers up front, and Irish rifles up there. Everyone form single rank, except cavalry, you will form double ranks. Also, uh, cavalry, charge. Let's go ahead and take down the cannons this time around, together with the main assault. And hopefully we can shield it a bit, so these guys up here, these guys down here, I mean, will move up. Ah, 
That was reinforcements coming in. I silenced one cannon before I was forced back. So we got the advantage of uh, having one more cannon than the enemy. If you're lucky, the other cannon might be taken down as well. I wish more of my troops would turn up. Might as well. Irish rifles! Fired well! Light infantry! Fired well! Or actually just fire. I'll stick around here. Oh. Firing back at us. That one was close to the enemy artillery. Is that an enemy artillery man up there? Oh, he actually took down one. <laughs> Dutch artillery man killed by 95th rifle. Good show. Ah, oh, shit. Let's see, do I gain more troops this time around? I gain more Irish rifles and it looks as though some grenadiers turn up. And some light infantry. But still, I don't have a lot of men except for um, my cavalry. Let's see if I can bring my cavalry over to the... Oh! Random shot. Ah, oh, now all my men charge forwards. Except for the light infantry. They're holding... Ah, oh, they went as well. Silly me, silly me. Although it was pretty hard to imagine that a bullet could come flying all across the battlefield and hit me there. Let's see about ending this before the doctor gets taken down. Uh, oh, they did actually get... Ah, oh, damn it. But we should be in a lead now. Mm, no, we've... It's actually turned worse. Damn it. We'll have to hold up in here for a while. But we can't let that bastard go. I have a hundred men versus his two hundred. But this time around it will be my force completely. If we keep him around here. Come on. I need aid. Crochy. Napoleon. Ah, come on then, you bastard. I will fight you to the very end. Cavalry, I want you up there.
light infantry, grenadiers, Irish rifles. Except for cannons, cannons will fire well. Because he is charge. I will join in, see if I can take out the cannons. That glorious cavalry charge. Cavalry charge going. There's no point in drawing them out of the fight now. I would only lose men doing that. Light infantry form single rank. Grenadiers form single rank. Irish rifles form. Single rank. Irish rifles form... Uh, form skirmish. Spread out a bit. It looks as though the fight was lost over there. Grenadier, so you standing properly. <laughs> Irish rifles fired well. They should be able to uh, hit something at this long range. Actually, we'll move the light infantry. Yeah, we'll move the light infantry to shield the cannons so they will move in front of them. Still hitting on my cannon cruise. Oh, no. My horse got hit. Irish rifles gain some ground on the enemy. Got some enemy cavalry coming up, and I alone have to stop them. Oh, shit! Oh. Maybe if I can just have them dragged in front of the line of fire constantly. Oh, here comes the reinforcements. We need to throw the Cassias in immediately to fight. Just to make sure that everyone fires at will. I still got a silly Mario looking dude charging after me. 
Ah, damn it. Troops are spread out all over the place. But we're closer to our side. Still have a cannon operational. This should hopefully go our way. The thing about it was there wasn't enough green in that initial cavalry charge, I think. So... Um, the outcome is certainly uncertain. I'm just waiting for the next... Uh, the next reinforcement to turn up. We've got one brave cuirassier still charging. It looks as though they're not gonna get a reinforcement. So these are the last two troops. <laughs> Great friendly fire. Oh you see the hand glide away. This last one will try to <coughs> boom. And we won the battle. Or we won part of the battle. I have 60 troops left to battle. There's 93 enemies. Oh yes, come in and help me now. Um, we have a hundred, yes. 75. 60. Boom. Oh yeah, I turned up just in time, didn't I? We lost a lot of troops, but we managed to take out the main general of the enemy. Or the new enemy. So that's quite a blow to the Dutch. Right in the start here, to have him taken down. gonna just go ahead and talk with Napoleon. Oh, there's more. Oh, there comes the army. <laughs> but I took out the main guy, so the Dutch will be uh, quite weakened by this. See what Napoleon has to say about this. Where is Nap hmm. Hello there, Napoleon. Ah, if it isn't my brave champion, Lord John, so you cross sword with that rascal called Ernst von Hugel. What? That's not my latest battle, is it? Um, sure. I think that sounds like a great uh, choice. Um, how does the war go against Holland? The war has barely begun, it's too early. How against how about the Rheinbund? Both sides have some. United Kingdom? They've been hitting us hard and causing great suffering. Prussians? The Russians? Both sides have suffered. I didn't haven't even seen the Russians. 
So we're at war with uh, war, the Prussians, the Russians, the Germans, or the Rheinbund, uh, the Dutch, and the English. Basically everyone. We're going to just hold up here in town as... Um, Oh, there's another great f army out there. There's 500 enemies fighting. Oh, there was an army of 200 in that one. Hmm. And they're burning our towns. There's nowhere to recruit but the cities. We must have peace, Napoleon. There's gonna be no prosperity left in France if they keep if we keep going to war and they keep burning our villages. There's too much war. Let's visit the lady. At the same time as we're here. How about another poem? Do you like poetry, my lady? Uh, storming the fortress of love. Ah, yes. The lady sits within doing nothing, while the man is the one who strives and achieves. I've had enough of that in my daily life. Why listen to poems about it? Time's passing quickly. Ah, oh, I didn't get anything from that poem. Uh, do you think we may have a future? Oh Lord John, how happy it would make me. Go ask Father Mish for promise. Oh, then I can marry her. And we can have a, mm, a, uh, a wedding. I was gonna say a marriage. Um, where is he actually? Where is Marshal Ney? Oh, he's here! Marshal Ney! Yes. Who do you think should get this? I'll support your candidate. Also... Um, I have something to wish to ask you. Oh, there, we there it was. I wish to marry your daughter, Lady Kathleen. Caroline, I mean. <laughs> I ask for your blessing. Splendid news, my young man. I shall be proud to have you in our family. Now, let us talk terms of marriage. As per custom, the two of us must make sure that Lady Kathleen is sufficiently... Um, has a sufficient fiancé finance to support herself in the event of any unforeseen circumstance. Uh, I would say that taking into consideration the prestige of our two houses that you can provide a dowry of 14,000 while I will supply a dowry of 20,000. This shall be her ladyship's property as security lest for any reason you are unable to provide for her. What do you say to that? I cannot <laughs> afford... Take the time you need. Wow, I didn't know it was gonna be that expensive. 14,000. How much money do I have right now? I have half that sum. A lot of enemy peasants are gonna have to uh, give me this stuff for me to be able to get that with any reasonable amount of time. But yeah, then we have the the quest there. I have 30 days to do that, apparently. The thir in 30 days, I need to raise 7,000. If I get another payment, that should be, let's see, that should be another, f that should be 4,000. Uh, 
Do I have anything to... S no, I don't have any food. I need to raid some villages and stuff. But at the same time, I want to continue the war effort. Well, I sort of am continuing the war effort. Burning down the villages. So I'll burn more of the enemy's villages. And we'll keep on that progress. Anyways, I think this will be it for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you for the next one. Bye.